Tonight, we now know the man indicted for threatening a gubernatorial candidate is accused of committing the crime here in Chattanooga. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Today, a man claiming to be the suspect left a voicemail for our newsroom defending himself. In it, he admits to making lewd comments directed at Diane Black. Hannah Lawrence joins us now with what he said. Hannah. Josh and Latricia, in that voicemail left for our newsroom, the man denies that he ever threatened to kill Diane Black like the indictment alleges. Now a court will decide whether his comments revealed an intention to hurt her or if he just wildly disagreed with her politics. Yes, he left me voicemail. Gubernatorial candidate Diane Black tells Fox News about scary voicemails her campaign says she received at her district office in Middle Tennessee. They were threats, and they were serious enough threats that the grand jury did take action. According to these indictments, Clifton Ward made threats to assault and murder the U.S. Congresswoman while he was living in Chattanooga. This is his mugshot from a previous arrest here in Hamilton County. This morning, a man claiming to be Clifton Ward left the News Channel 9 newsroom a voicemail. In it, he denied he ever threatened to kill Black, but detailed a vulgar comment he did make. On the campaign trail, Black regularly pushes the president's agenda. I believe in what the president wants to do in protecting our border. Um, I believe in building the wall, and I believe in holding people accountable that come to our country illegally, and I'm never going to back down on that. Black's campaign confirmed the content of the voicemail we received is consistent with the voicemails left at the congresswoman's office. Tonight, it's unclear if Ward truly wanted to hurt her. In the last 15 years, Ward pled guilty to several charges here in Hamilton County, including theft, forgery, and possession of drugs. Josh. Thank you, Hannah. The U.S. Attorney's Office says he was living in Atlanta, where he was arrested this week.